is for quiet. I love quiet. I wish it were quiet all the time. You know, you'd wear earplugs at a show, and sometimes I would wish I could just keep my earplugs in and live my life with earplugs in. <laughs> Hi you guys, I just got done editing this vlog and I'm about to post it so in a second we're gonna go back in the past But I wanted to quickly share a few things this morning I've been updating some different curations on my website all of the best pieces that I found in the essence sale All my favorite vintage and pre-loved items on the real real and also some vintage home items so I just wanted to share that quickly, but let's get into the video Morning you guys welcome back to another vlog on my channel. I'm starting another week in my life style video today it is now june which is kind of insane i can't really believe it i've just been spending a lot of time upstate working on the house and spending time with family and friends but i just got back to the city this morning and i've kind of been in reset mode i went to trader joe's this morning for a grocery shop and also to pick up some flowers i love the Trader Joe's bouquets I make, they're just so affordable. Got some lilies as always. I really love adding just pops of flowers throughout my space. Here's my outfit today. I am wearing this gray cropped vest with a white tank. This mirror has paint all over it. It's not dust, I promise. I need to use some paint remover to get it off. This was here from the last tenants. Our legacy recently gifted me these nylon boot cut pants. They're so comfy. And I've paired it with my Rick Owens Birkenstocks and this vintage Prada bag. which you guys saw earlier in errands. I'm gonna take these off. I had some breakfast and got ready. I'm getting some work done, also dealing with some house stuff, even though I'm in the city. So our house upstate doesn't actually have air conditioning, which is very common for that area. Before recently, you didn't really need air conditioning. And honestly, it hasn't been bad yet. It's rarely more than 80 degrees in the mountains where we are. And in the summer, all the trees fill up and our house gets a lot of nice shade. However, I do think if we get some window treatments in our windows, it's gonna help with the heat quite a lot. So I was just ordering a bunch of different samples and swatches for custom window treatments this morning. I feel like curtains in the house just aren't gonna really go. I want some like Roman shades, maybe some cool wooden shades or blinds could work on some of the windows we'll have to see when i get some samples in i've also been booking some estimates and bids for a contractor or company to come paint the exterior of our house it needs a full sand and paint and some of the wood needs restored and i know this is going to be a really big project got an estimate quite a while ago many months ago i think it was too high from other people that we've talked to. We have neighbors that have really similar houses to ours and they convinced us that we should book some more estimates and bids. That's gonna be happening next weekend, which I'm really excited about. Ideally, we'd like to wait like another six months to save up some additional funds for the exterior of our house, but you can only really do the exterior in the summer. So we're kind of on a time crunch. I don't know if I've really talked about this on YouTube before, but our original plan when getting this house was to be able to rent it out at least part-time in the future. We've been spending most of our time there I love it so much. I've definitely gotten attached to the point where I'm like, do I really want to rent this house out? But I want to follow through with my plan of renting it out short term, part time, maybe some longer term rentals as well, photo shoot rentals once it gets all nice and done. And there is absolutely no way I'm renting it as the exterior looks right now. So it definitely is an investment. Our original plan was to start renting the house this fall. I don't know if that's gonna be able to happen, but like I said, the exterior has to get done. Really been reeling in spending on pretty much anything that's not home related. 
just trying to budget selling off things in my wardrobe that i don't really wear any like older furniture that's not really our vibe anymore to kind of fund these renovation projects yeah get the house ready to rent short term i know short term rentals are obviously such a hot topic and there are so many problems with them if you're familiar with upstate new york hudson valley the Catskills. Our home is in the Western Catskills in the Catskills ski region. It actually is a big tourist destination. The entire town really does run on tourism and it's very encouraged. And that's why we felt okay to settle in there with the plans of short-term renting periodically. When it's ready to rent, I will definitely be sharing the listing link with you guys. And I'm so excited to share a place that we've found so special to us, the area, the home, the land. And you guys can get to experience it too. One thing I did spend money on last week, which this is house related, is a vintage blanket. I am a horse girl at heart. I actually haven't rode a horse in a very long time. I grew up being obsessed with horses. I would really love to go riding soon, but I found this vintage blanket. I'll show it to you. I think some of you are gonna hate this. I found this vintage horse blanket that's in such great condition. I actually found this on Poshmark and it's reversible. And this is gonna be one of those like traditional cozy pieces for the cabin upstate. I would not say it goes in this apartment. But we really want to mix in some more like traditional cozy pieces. Not so much furniture wise, I still want the house to feel pretty modern, but things like blankets and art, we want to have a lot of like paintings in the house. We have the beautiful old wood stove and fireplace. I just want to have some good cozy touches. If you guys ever see anything that you think would work for the house, definitely send it my way. I also just got this crazy PR package from Mod, the sex education and sexual wellness brand. You guys have probably seen them. I unfortunately missed out on one of their recent parties, but they sent me the most insane goodie bag. I just want to share with you guys a few of the things that are in here. I think they're such a cool brand. They gifted some of their personal products. This is their burn massage candle. It can also just be used as a normal candle and it smells really good. I've had that before. A moisturizing shave oil. They also just came out with a new product called Heat. This is a warming water-based lube. I think it's very cool that it's warming. And then I love this product of theirs. It's called Soothe and it's their ingrown hair oil. If you ever have trouble with ingrown hair, this fixes them. I was so shocked when I saw this. This is one of their brand partners, Jolie. You guys have probably seen so many ads. A lot of you probably have this filtered shower head. I've totally thought about buying one of these and I'm gonna install this here in the city. I've heard a lot about how it could help your skin and hair. This is from a brand called The Outset, which I've never actually tried. And this is their vegan collagen serum. I've tried some of the Nucos products. I'm on their mailing list. I've purchased some things myself. They're such an interesting wellness brand. These are their hair growth supplements. I also sent the Nucos scalp serum for hair density. I do wanna say I've been getting so much amazing gifting lately and I'd love to give back to some of you guys just to share some of the things that I'm so lucky to receive as gifts. So I wanna do a surprise mini giveaway to enter. You can just comment down below. Make sure that you include a method of contacting you though, preferably your Instagram handle. I feel like on YouTube, it can be a little difficult to get in contact with people. So just include that in your comment and you'll be entered. This morning I'm having my coffee and I can't get over the lights outside right now it's so spooky I'm sure a lot of you guys know and a lot of you are experiencing this too or have experienced this before but all of the smoke from the wildfires in Canada is coming down the Northeast and it's pretty intense in New York today I feel like it's still even being color corrected on the camera but the sky is just orange and smoky i just can't stop thinking about all the animals that are affected it's making me so sad i'm just having a cuddle with my guy over here the world we live in i feel like a lot of times in this part of the world we don't experience the current effects of climate change quite as much as other areas and i mean we all know this we all read about it hear about it but when it's just in your face and inescapable, it's really something else. 
getting all packed for the Grand Prix this weekend. It's actually not supposed to be that warm and it's supposed to rain. So I'm definitely considering that in my outfit options. And we're only there for two days, so I don't need much. I'm packing everything in this green rains bag, which I love so much. So you and I are just sharing this. I use it constantly. I got it for a trip to Costa Rica when we didn't really want to have like a roller suitcase, but something more than a backpack. It's waterproof. I really love and support this brand. My raincoat is also from Rains. So on qualifying day, I think it's supposed to be the rainiest. It keeps going back and forth on actual race day. But I'm packing this bodysuit and some baggy gold jeans with a raincoat. And then I also have these nylon our legacy pants, a vintage Bellstaff racer jacket, I have a white tank top, and this is like a silver bodysuit from Los Angeles Apparel. I need to make sure I can bring a bag this big, but I'm thinking I'll bring this leather sling bag. That's the brand here, YTN number seven. And then we have earplugs. We bought grandstand seats, so I have these seat cushions, kind of nerdy, but I think it will probably be worth it for us. And then for shoes for all these outfits, I have these Nike Vimero 5 sneakers. I think we're going to be walking a lot where we're sitting, so I'm just not even going to try to be cute with the rain. I do really like these sneakers, but I just feel like sneakers are never my first choice with an outfit. now as you saw we did that super spontaneous montreal grand prix trip it was so fun it was kind of hectic and exhausting just because we drove up there and then basically drove right back down so he ended up getting sick he still made it to the race the weather was pretty horrible but it was still so fun and i'm glad we went because as some of you guys know we're obsessed with f1 but now we're up at the house getting some work done. I spoke earlier in this vlog about how we were booking in some estimates and bids to get our exterior done and we've decided on somebody to do it. And I think they're gonna start pressure washing this weekend. So basically what has to happen is the whole house has to be pressure washed, then they're gonna sand and caulk, and then they're gonna do all of the stain and finishing. We also have to have a carpenter in to fix some things. This morning I'm really craving a bagel and a new place just opened in town. I'd love to go support them. So I'm gonna do that. I have some of my real job work to get done today too, but I need to eat something. Well, also, you guys have seen I've been making all these wildflower bouquets from our property. These ones are kind of on their last limb. But I just learned that the yellow flowers are highly toxic, even to handle. I will not be picking those anymore. Hopefully I've been okay so far. Let's see if this guy starts today. A new rug just arrived. We ended up just going for a jute rug. This is from Rugs USA, but I feel like we really needed to like section out this area. I also didn't want anything too delicate because our wood stove is here. We're always bringing firewood in. We eat outside a lot. So there's a lot of in and out through these doors. I need to wait for Siggy to get home to be able to move the furniture properly. And I also still need to put a rug pad in there. I was just being impatient about trying to get it all moved in myself, but. That wasn't successful. Also, we still have one of the sofas here that the sellers left that is just not good. I'm not even gonna go close up on it because the upholstery is pretty gross. It doesn't smell bad or anything, but there's just like holes in it and it's not very nice. Right now I just have a quilt over top of it, but 
for the meantime i might buy one of those like linen slip covers for the sofa maybe in like a warm charcoal color i'm still having a hard time figuring out how to furnish this space i mean obviously the coffee table is gonna go here and then i want to get either some more chairs or another sofa here maybe something a little bit smaller like a love seat I'm not gonna use this door as much as this door i'd really love any tips and some help with this obviously in an ideal situation i feel like i'd want the sofa in front of the fireplace but there's actually just not that much space here and it's kind of the walking path outside so we're kind of having separate zones i want to get some like floor to ceiling shelving here and then i don't know what to do with this area maybe another rug and we're eventually gonna sand and stain the floors to all match I definitely want some more plants and things too. You guys will have to let me know if you have any ideas because yeah, the layout of this space isn't great. And this has to stay here and kind of be accessible because it's our crawl space. And I want to hang like a pendant light and swap the ceiling fan as well to just kind of like signify that as its own zone. I feel like if we didn't have a separate dining area, which we have up here, then this would be like a dining zone. But with this being up here, I don't really know what to do. So we've had that conversation a bit earlier in this video, I think, about how we would love to start renting the house before the end of this year. I think there's just a lot that needs to be done. Obviously this summer we are gonna get the exterior done like I was speaking about. We're not gonna be able to renovate the kitchen and main bathroom yet, which I really wanna be able to do right, but I'm thinking we could do some landlord special kind of things to make it look a little nicer in here. I gotta hear your thoughts. For being honest, the main issue is these floors, which obviously are gonna be replaced as soon as possible, but they can't get replaced right now. But I've seen people paint tiles and they can look pretty good. I think we could do these like a slate color and just improve it a lot and then obviously still move to replace them like ideally within the next year but it would just kind of kick it down the road a little bit because i really want to do our renovations right because yeah i could do it now could go into some debt for it but i know there's really no rush everything in our kitchen and bathrooms work it's really just all cosmetic fixes so have you guys ever painted tile because i think we're gonna try to do that this summer and the countertops are pretty horrible the cabinets are okay. We did paint the backsplash, so I've painted tile like that. I don't think it looks bad. It looks a lot cleaner than it did before. It was like a dirty beige. You just could not get them to look clean. I've seen different like countertop refinishing kits, which we could try as well. I don't mind leaving these wood, but we could also paint these. Maybe we could paint this white. I don't love the white appliances, but... You know, I'm pretty sure this is quite new and the sellers took the nicer stove that was in here. And then this bathroom, this is the very real challenge. And we wanna fully redo this. We're gonna knock in here and make it much bigger. You can see it. I know you can paint these countertops. I know we could paint this. We could scrape off the popcorn, paint this white. We need a new toilet, we could do that ourselves, replace the baseboard heaters. And I've even seen people do tub paint. We have scrubbed that tub so much and those are just like water stains. Again, just to kick this all down a little bit more. I don't know, is this too ambitious? Do you even mind the bathroom? Should we just leave it? It just is so opposite from the direction the rest of the house is going. And I would feel weird renting it with it looking how it is right now. But alternatively, this isn't the only bathroom. There's the other bathroom, which we've been DIYing, and I think it's looking pretty good. So we could just close this off and make it inaccessible. I'd love to hear your thoughts, especially if you frequent Airbnbs, like what complaints you have, etc. Here's where we've already removed the popcorn ceiling. The texture on the ceiling isn't perfect, but you're never like examining the ceiling and oh my god it looks so much better and one day soon we're gonna be able to look out and see a beautiful black house something else i've been thinking about and let me know if you are into this idea i've made some like what i spend in a week what i spend in a month videos before and you guys have really enjoyed them what if i do a video that's like what we spent on the renovation so far for the house i recently saw asia dang do a similar video and I find these videos so fascinating, but maybe you guys don't and I just don't need to do it in that case. But I can share like 
where we're DIYing, where we're hiring a professional, different levels of quotes that we got, how we're budgeting for everything. Let me know if you'd find that interesting. I think I've talked enough for this video, so I'm gonna wrap it up here, but I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you super soon with a new one. Bye.